Hello, my beautiful Libra dragons. Welcome to your little love reading for right now. Let's go ahead and shuffle the cards. You'll have to excuse my shuffling. I, uh, I really cut my thumb quite badly, so I can't um, put pressure on it in certain directions. So my shuffling sucks, but I trust spirit will just let the cards fly, which they've been doing so far. So let's go ahead and get some cards for Libra. So let's see. Libra single, single energy. Okay. Um, sun, moon, rising and Venus. So if this is not your energy, you might be cross-watching. Ooh, I love this so far. So some of the readings have been very heavy. So um, I'm hoping for some lighter ones. Okay. Where I am, it's we're in the deep, dark depths of cold winter. And, uh, and we're in a, I don't know what wave we're in now. Five? Fifth wave? I don't know. So let's see what comes out for you guys for singles. So we have... Okay, so we have kisses, okay? Um, unconditional loving, right? Giving and receiving. Um, clarity, truth, reve um, revelation, sorry. Um, let's see, so cassette, outdating, thinking, conditioning. Okay, thinking over in your head. Okay, so Libra, I hear that you do have, um, I, I feel like you are sort of, even though you're single, you really do want to fall in love. Like you're really, um, in a space where you are open and you're wanting to, um, move into that. I think that though, um, as soon as you actually truly think and feel and try to manifest love, you're getting clarity and truth, um, on like you're having revelations about some outdating thinking that you may be having or things that are playing out in your head. And I always say, if you have negative thoughts, Ask yourself where they came from because they aren't coming from you. We aren't born having a bad image of ourselves. You need to go back and see where that's coming from because I think that that is actually holding you back from finding, even going out and seeking, truly seeking love. Okay? And so it's having that deep love for yourself. Um, so, okay, I'm not picking all those up. My goodness, they want to tell me a whole story. So we're not going to do that. Let me just get these all back in here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you have, you may have somebody in your life that is um, a heavy masculine energy that's a fire sign um, and not in a good way. Okay, we have the king of wands in reverse. Yeah, I'm hearing, yeah. And you have your nine of cups in reverse. So this is, um, I feel like you might have been dependent on them or they might have tried to take your dependence away. Yeah, so I'm gonna take these, but I am gonna see what this one is. Yeah, it might have been a family member. Or somebody in your family, okay? And let's see what else comes out for you guys. My Libra single, single energy. Let's see, okay, I'll take these three. Ah, they flew out way over here, okay? So what it is, is we have the chariot, we have the seven of swords in reverse, and we have death. So what it is, is you're going to find balance, okay? You're going to have victory, and things may move quickly for you, okay? Um, you're going to find your direction. You're going to keep moving forward. You're going to be... Um, you're going to be ignoring this this drama that this whatever this person is trying to do. You have your seven of wands in reverse. I think that you're really going to grow and see where you might have had some weak boundaries because you're going to be seeing this. Um, you're going to be getting protective, which is fine because you're going to be protecting of yourself. And um, you're going to be making the decision to put an end to a situation. Okay, you have death. Okay, so you're going to be letting go. This, this death card is also about transformation. So as you move away from this and you don't allow this to happen anymore, you're growing and you're going to allow love to come in. You're going to actually fall in love with yourself even deeper because you realize the wounds that this person put inside of you. This is a really different type of love reading. This truly is about self-love. This isn't about, and, and that does turn into the ability to love externally, but this truly is about 
moving on and getting rid of this limiting belief. This is a pretty, I don't think I've ever had a reading quite like this um, before. Yet we have getting to know each other. I think this is you getting to know you, you having internal dialogue with yourself. Yeah. So just a second, guys. Ugh. So just a second. Yeah, what came out? So we have past life relationship and flirt. I think that you need to, uh, there's, there's something that you need to do with this is like an, ex this is a completely outside of this. I think that you may be talking and flirting with somebody. Um, and you just feel like you've known each other before. Okay. This is like just this whole separate little thing because this doesn't go here. And that's what I'm hearing is this doesn't go here. This is here. So I don't, I don't know guys. So it may be that all of this has to happen so that you can move into this, right? This is this, you moving away from this situation, very heavy energy back here with whoever this sign is, this King of Wands in reverse, not a good person. Okay. And lots of times, right? We do have to break our generational, um, baggage right? We have so many generations that have gone through much, so much the medieval times, right? All the famines, all the wars, all the everything that's been done. And it's just been survival, survival, survival. And now we're moving into a really unique time where people are really learning and discovering and finding their soul and their deep, deep healing. And it's like, I am not going to let this pattern continue. I am not going to let this continue to happen. Okay. My beautiful Libra couples. I feel like I almost need to do these separately, like the singles and the couples. So if, um, if you guys want me to do them separately, give a thumbs up or leave a comment. Um, it will take me twice as long, but I don't know. Sometimes the energies are the same. Okay. I'll leave that one. It's so funny. They're just like, stop picking them up. And I'm like, stop giving me so many. Um, so anyways, give me a comment. Let me know if you, uh, if you want me to do them individually, um, rather than, um, together. I did it together at first just to get it out of the way, but maybe I will start doing them. Oh, look at this. They still dropped a bunch. You guys are stinkers. Okay. So guys, what we have here, this sword and rose is showing up so much. People are going to be having so many revelations and seeing so much truth. So you have both. You're going to be moving on and getting closure. Okay. And this could very well be a continuation from the last reading guys. Um, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. Okay. And I'm, and, and it's also about meeting and just, and just taking time with friends. And I think that that's going to really help you to connect and help you to, um, and see clearly, right. It's going to bring this, um, this power to you, right? Because look at this down here, you have this not enough card. And if this is you, if the single reading is you, this not enough was brought in by that King of Wands in reverse. Okay. So what this is, is this is about up here. You need to c recover this and this is how you're going to do it. Okay. You're going to have faith. Okay. You're going to, you're going to find, you're going to accept the invitations. You're going to go and meet with friends, right? You're going to have conversations, right? Because you know, you're going to receive what you need and you're going to need and you're going to close it out. Okay. So, um, I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know. It depends on your situation. Okay. So just keep hanging out with me and we'll get some more readings for you. Yeah. Oh, come on. So just say, I don't know if I even mentioned this guys, but this is for Libra, sun, moon, uh, rising and Venus. So if this is not your reading, go look at another sign in your chart. Okay. So hopefully you have some other ones between all of those signs. I only have two. <laughs> I have, um, a bunch that are, um, th tripled actually. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're trying to see a different way of moving away, right? I feel like you might feel like you're a little bit blocked because somebody has been very deceitful with you. Yeah. Look at this, the ace of cups. And so it could be with love, um, anything emotional. Okay. So you have your ace of cups and your page of cups in reverse. So it's about disappointments, right? And I feel like you're having difficulty getting 
past something, like you're hitting a block and you're dealing with somebody who's very greedy. Okay, so, um, and you also might be hanging on too much. Maybe you're giving too much value to them. Okay, yeah, look, we have this King of Cups in the upright. This is um, finding somebody, and it could be masculine, okay, doesn't have to be male, can be a female with masculine energy as well, that's very non-threatening. They're very, um, they could be creative, okay, um, they're very emotionally balanced, and um, they're very warm, and you can trust them and depend on them, okay, and you can rely on them when you need them, okay, very um, creative, very artistically inclined. You have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So what this is, is um, this is about, um, again, it's about delays and um, it's about really going in and learning how to control your mind. Okay, the Queen of Swords is air, your air, Aries, okay? And this is about really trying to control this, trying to find these revelations, trying to, you know, when you're having these things about trying to remain positive and finding the things that work for you. What this has to do with a couple, I don't, I don't know, guys. So this is like, <laughs> okay, so release your ex. This is like, this is somebody that has a heavy energy in your past. I don't know why. For both readings, I'm really getting like it's a family member. And you can't get rid of them. And so what it is, is this is two different parts of you. You need to release whatever, and it could be an ex. It could be somebody who is really not good for you. It could be a brother, could be a sister, could be a father, could be a grandparent of some sort that was, you know, really made you feel really bad about yourself. You need to go into true love. You need to go into this King of Cups. You need to move past this energy of not being enough. And you need to go into this right? It's a change of mindset. It's also, um, go back and see the single one again. It's putting that to death, right? Like you need to end something. I don't know what energy this is. This is a very weird energy. Okay, Libras. So, um, with that in mind, I do thank you for your support. Stick with me. Let's keep going and see where this goes for you guys. Okay. I'll see you in your next reading. Okay. Have a great day, guys.